Tick, tick, tock, it's beer o'clock, so what have you got to lose? Tick, tick, tock, it's beer o'clock with slosh and booze. Oh, no, actually, that time I was actually surprised. I forgot. I was looking to see if I still had this. G'day! I'm filming this at 11.54. Having snifters is making this easy to catch up. Because it's the beer that's the problem, you see. There's a story involved in all of this. I'm a very responsible and um, relatively sober man now. So sniffed as it shall be. We shall start, as always, with the 2017 Booze Bud Advent Calendar. www.boozebud.com uh, Go there. They have a great range of beer. They've supported us for a couple of years now. Absolutely fantastic. Slosh Booze is our code which will get you a 50% discount. Can't use it on the advent calendar, but can't buy it anymore anyway. It's too late. Today is day eight. It doesn't work without a big beard. I can't go. I could do that. Uh, uh, that is how it's upside down. Anyway, uh, it's day eight. What are we going to have some snifters of? I do like a snifter. I do like a snifter. Ooh. Ooh. Um... Bridge Road Brewers, drink, bling, India Pale Ale. Um, let's see if we can get their website for you. www.bridgeroadbrewers.com.au Pow. Uh, this is their bling India Pale Ale, as I stated previously. Uh, about Bridge Road Brewers. Conceived in 2005 by Ben Krause in his dad's back shed, Bridge Road Brewers has grown to become one of Australia's most recognised craft breweries. Our small batch brewery uses traditional brewing methods to create beer from... I thought, I thought it said beer from scotch. Beer from scratch using our own production equipment in our hometown of Beechworth. It says it's got some little little pictures on there. See the little pictures? Progress. Progress. Anyway, those little pictures say... Brewed in-house, independently family-owned, authentic, real and honest. Uh, www.bridgeroadbrewers.com.au They are from Beechworth in Victoria. Australia's 5.8% alcohol per volume, 1.5 standard drinks. It is 330 mols, no clot, no flaws, all snifter. Um, about this beer. India Pale Ale is a beer style developed in England for shipment to its men in India. More hops for use. I actually learnt all this stuff at the um, liquid bread course. I might have the website if I can find out what it is. Um, absolutely fantastic course. I did it um, on a very stressful day and I had a spare ticket for 150 bucks that didn't get used, but it was it was the best day to proceed the impending kerfuffle. The kerfuffle that happened in September. The, sept the, the great September kerfuffle of 2017. Man, when I'm old, I'm gonna be looking back and thinking about the great September kerfuffle of 2017. Um, about this beer. More, more hops were used and the alcohol percentage was increased to ensure the beer went the distance on the high seas. At Bridge Road, we've gone all out with an IPA that screams hops and malt, but keeps balance in mind. A big beer with loads of hop character and bitterness. Almost interpretive dance. I was discussing that with the children the other day. How we make it. Um, huge hop additions are used in creating this IPA. We add large amounts. Oh. Oh. I think you've got a spelling mistake here. We add large amounts on hops, both into the whirlpool vessel and after fermentation in a process called dry hopping. I think it's supposed to be of. Oh, no. Spelling mistake. Goes great with rich, oily, or spicy dishes. What it tastes like. Malt profile is seven. Hops profile is nine. Join the posse. A good old-fashioned posse always sounds intimidating to me. But tick, tick, tock. It's snifter o'clock. It's day eight of the advent calendar. I think I forgot to even say that. At the end. This is welcome to day eight of Slosh's fourth annual craft beer and hot sauce advent calendar. Put it in Bracken's box. There we go. Let's get this poured. A nice full glass for us to snifter from. Oh, look at that. Nice and bubbly. Nice and bubbly. I do like the bubbles. The bubble. Under the bubble. Um, I'm going to let that settle for a second. Actually, no, I'm not going to drink it. I'm going to have a snifter. Bubbles are delicious. 
I know my face doesn't look like it's delicious, but that's just because I'm tired. Look. I'm tired. That's what I do when I'm tired. I look like this. That's not true. Um, I think that's how they did the makeup um, for... Not the cat in the hat. The other one. The one with the Grinch in it. It's about Christmas. The cat in the hat that stole Christmas. Sorry, we've had a sip and we have a snifter. That's actually quite delicious. I wish I could drink all of that. Uh, I'm going to tentatively say, on an overall thing, seven for the beer, minus one, because they have a spelling mistake on it, so six. Tentatively. Tentatively. Ooh. So we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. We've got to, we've got to keep going back to this. Because if I don't go back to this, I am going to get confused. Uh, it is 11.59. It's 11.59. It's 11.59. It's 12 o'clock on the 9th of the 12th of 2017. Uh, we'll do some nonsense. So, yeah. So, tonight, me and all my friends, like all the, all the people who... Uh, went to high school with and their wives and you know many of them are from high school uh their girlfriends from high school so we've all known each other for literally like 20 25 years or you know 24 years 25 years uh we're all going out to dinner um at the trade winds in frio uh my mum's gonna watch the kids for me they're spending the afternoon um morning and afternoon seeing their mum and uh it's a beautiful looking look how nice that beer looks Ooh, I won the Fitbit thing. Only 72,000 steps, so that's not, that's not that good. All right, what was I doing? I'm getting distracted. Ah, tick, tick, tock. It is beer o'clock. Um, found an old phone the other day. Look, it's an old phone. Um, those are my tax documents. Do you want to see them? I've got a card. Card too. Uh, what else have I got on my desk? I've got Ugly Kid Joe. Apparently, I'm collecting uh, plugs for iPhone things. I don't know why. Ah! Got a whole pile of crap on here. What's this? Where did this came from? Is that enough nonsense for today? I literally just thought I'd just pick up crap on my desk. I'm going to clean my desk after this. Um, sauce! Sauce. We will be doing today uh, Hellfire Bay's hot sauce. Hellfire Bay hot sauce. Uh, chili honey medium hot sauce. So you get that in a little bit of focus for us. No. Nah. Um, Ernest um, Austin, I think that's the right way to say that, uh, makes this and he makes some pretty damn special stuff. Let's see if we've got a website on here. Yes, www.hellfirebayhotsauce.com. Boom. Um, you can see on the side there that it goes up to the orange. And I'm going to use my little, my little stabby thing to... Uh, oh, it's, it's got the rippy bits. But I'm going to use the stabby thing to get to the rippy bits. I do prefer when bottles have rippy bits. Because if you don't put rippy bits on, I struggle to open things. Because I'm, an, I'm essentially... Basically, just a monkey that's been shaved a bit. Anyway, I found the rippy bits. I do love me some rippy bits. Hellfire Bay hot sauce, chili, honey, not focusing at all for me. Anyway, um, I'm trying to be as silly as I can, but doing it sober is a bit difficult. <laughs> well, well, maybe we have enough time for one more snifter. Delicious. I wish they hadn't had that spelling mistake. Um, I think I did try this at the Ravenswood uh, Chili Festival. As always, I got my supply on the 25th from basically all the people um, from the WA Chili Seed Exchange group on Facebook who are all the nicest and best people in the world. Um, ingredients on this one. Water, vinegar, cayenne chili, honey, capsicum, garlic, salt, Olive oil, maize flour, xanthan, gum, 250 mols. Uh, all hell fire bay hot sauces are handcrafted with the finest ingredients that blend together in harmony to make this sauce dance with flavor. Dancing with flavor. Or whatever it is. There we go. Um, he's from Esperance in WA. Wow. I think I did try this. Oh, what is it with all the nipples? It's always... Ah! I have actually done that once. Not, not pulled it off, but I've ripped it. Um, 
It's a terrible story. I might put photos up one day. So I'm going to try not to spill this on everything. On the, uh, oh, have we even said what day it is? What day is it? It's the 8th? The 8th day of Christmas. My true love gave to me Hellfire Bay hot sauce, chili honey, medium hot sauce. We'll give that a bit of a taste. It's good that I can taste all the hot sauce, but I can only have a snifter of beer. I do think hashtag snifter. I'm going to come up with a hashtag for snifters. So it smells really sweet. Uh, so yeah, up your bum for the eighth day of Christmas. Mm. What's really good about that? It's consistency. Consist consistency is almost. It's very reminiscent of uh, the same consistency as, consistency as Dr. Paul's um, hot tomato ketchup, which I had yesterday. The honey kind of like aftertaste, it just kind of... Kind of like drifts on the wind, but the wind keeps going in your mouth for a while. You've got mouth wind. Mouth wind with honey in it. It's... Quite delicious. I'm going to give that seven on taste, and I'm going to give it one on heat. What oh, am I supposed to do it this way? <laughs> seven on taste, one on heat. But it, it is delicious, and um, it's definitely something that, that kids could eat, or people who don't like that chili all that much. And I, I really, really like it. Um, all the all the stuff at Hellfire Bay, Hellfire Bay hot sauce. Um, is fantastic. I've tried none of their stuff that I haven't liked, so you should definitely check them out. That is fantastic. All right. I'm going to have one more snifter and then we'll say goodbye, I think. Man, I would love to be able to finish that. But anyway, life is about... Life's for the living. Life is for the living. Um, no. No. Not life is for the living. Uh, play hard, drink water. Uh, do you know? Do you guys know how to hula hoop? Because I've never seen someone with a hula hoop who's unhappy. I honestly feel that hula hoops are the way to deal with this kind of generation of people who who don't feel okay about themselves and kind of feel like you know everything's crushing them and they're never going to be able to afford a house and there's no jobs and all that's true. But man, if you had some pretty like flashing hula hoops and you were good at it, I've never seen anyone in a hula hooping video who looks sad. Never. I don't think you can actually be hula hooping and unhappy at the same time. Unless you're bad at hula hooping and then you should practice hula hooping till you're good enough at hula hooping to be able to hula hoop and get yourself happy. Happy hula, happy hula hooping. Hashtag happy hula hooping. Yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hula hooping. I am sober. This is this is the hard. This is the this is a bad thing. I am sober. I haven't even had a coffee since seven o'clock this morning. <sighs> Wouldn't it be nice to have more than a snifter? <sighs>